Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to look at the percent proportion, which as a seventh grade math teacher, this is like, this is bread and butter for me right here. The percent proportion. So we know that a proportion is two equivalent ratios. So if I draw my proportion like so. And now percent. When we talk about percents, we're talking about a part to a total. When I'm dealing with percents, what is a total? What is the whole percent? It's a hundred. A hundred percent means all of it. If I wanted a hundred percent of your stuff, you'd have to give me all your stuff. So, and that also like that per cent, cent, when we have pennies, you need a hundred pennies because it's sent, so help you remember. So when I'm dealing with the percent proportion, the percent part, I'm saying percent a lot, goes right here. That's my total, 100%. I don't wanna say always, but pretty much always, if you're, de if you're dealing with percent proportion, 100 goes right there. Now, on top of the 100 is the percent that is part of the total. So this is the percent part. Because if this is the percent of the part over the 100% total, then on the left side, we are going to put part over total. You may have also heard this called is over of. So this is the is part. Is over of equals percent over 100. And that is over of piece, when we say things like this is two parts of the 10 part total. It's just how the sentences are shaped. This is part of that. So this is part of that. And then the percent is the part that it's related to. So let's talk about pens. Again, I just love pens. Okay, so these pens. These are tool pins from Office Depot. I got them on crazy sales. This set is usually $20. I ordered them in Louisville and had my sister go pick them up. Um, which now that I'm thinking, that's not even this set. This is the set that I got. So now I have two sets. Uh, so these are usually like 20 bucks for a pack of 14. I got them for $6. It was really exciting. So. $6 is what I paid. How much money off is that? If they're usually $20 and I paid $6, how much money did I save? I saved $14. So the part that I did not pay is $14. I did not pay the $14. And I'm going to figure out the percent of money I saved. Because when my husband found out that I bought more pens, I had to sell it. So the total price on a normal day is $20. Okay, so I paid for, well, I saved 14. So this is the, per, this is the money I saved. Let's label that money saved. And so this is going to tell me the percent I saved. So equals and 100 is always going to go in that bottom right. And I don't know the percent. This was the part I needed to figure out so that I could sell him on this. Like, this is a really good deal. So now that we have our proportion set up, the money saved is over here. This is going to be the percent saved. That's how those two things line up. This was the total price because that's 100% of the price. So 
So that relationship saved, saved, total, total. Now I cross multiply and divide. What two numbers am I going to cross multiply? 14 times 100. So 14 times 100 is 1,400. And then I'm going to divide by a number. What do I divide by? 20. So I'm going to divide by 20. which is 70. So I saved 70%. So my percent saved, I saved 70% off the original price. So how much of the price did I have to pay? If I saved 70%, I only had to pay 30% of the regular price. It's a really good deal. Another way we can look at this is by drawing a picture. I love a good picture. So if I drew just a little bitty ratio table right here, where I had 0% to 100%. And $20 is the total price. That was 100% of the price. And I, only paid this is zero dollars so I need to figure out where six dollars falls because that's how much I knew I paid or off 14 so let's say this is six because I saved 14 so I wanted to know what percent this was there's lots of different ways you can do this um, I kind of like to always go with the middle first. So half of 100 is 50. So that's 50%. So half of 20 would be 10. Okay. What about one? One dollar, that'd be divide by 10. So divide by 10, that'd be 5%. So one dollar. 5%. So then to get to 6, I could do times 6. So 5 times 6 times 6 times 6 would be 30. That's just another way to think about it. As long as you're dividing and multiplying consistently with the top and the bottom, this kind of works. And then you get to see how it works. So to retrace my steps, 0 dollars twenty dollars zero percent a hundred percent and I always like to go to 50 because that's an easy one I can split things in half and then from 50 I went to five percent and then 10 divided by 10 was 1 50 divided by 10 was 5 and then 1 to 6 was times 6 and 5 times 6 was 30 so that still got me to 30 percent all right, if you're not comfortable with these, it's okay, but I will keep showing you because it's a good visual. All right, let's do another example, except this time I'm going to tell you the percent. I need to find 20% of $20. I'm going to find 20% of $20 because I have a coupon. And I want to know what 20% off is. So the percent of the part goes where? Top right. So that's going to be 20% goes in the top right corner. What's always in the bottom right? Good. And now do I know the total or do I know the part? Since this says of 20, that's telling me that this is the total price of 20. Remember we talked about is over of, so of 20. So I don't know the part. That's my unknown, my X. Now I'm going to cross multiply and divide. What two numbers do you cross multiply? 
20 times 20. So 20 times 20 is 400. And then I'm going to divide by 100, which equals 4. So 20% of 20 is $4. If we wanted to look at a ratio table, this one's going to be easy. 0%, 100%. $0, $20. So I need to find 20%. Let's say it's like right here. I don't know. 20%. Okay, is there an easy way to get from 100 to 20? You could divide by 5. So 100 divided by 5. So if I cut this by 5, I have to cut this by 5. What's 20 divided by 5? 4. So same idea, just a way to visualize what's happening. There's other ways you could have done that too, but that one was the fastest. All right, so that's percent proportion. I will see you guys next time. Uh, thanks for hanging in there. Don't forget to like and subscribe, ring the bell, notifications. See you next time. Bye, everybody.